everybody to another episode of John's Demo Room. I'm John with IREAT and today we're going to be taking a look at a desktop CCTV. This time it is the Acuity Speech from Rehan Electronics. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive down and take a closer look. Okay, so here we are up close with Acuity 22. So let's go ahead and get this guy turned on. So underneath the right hand corner there's a power button. Press and hold that for a second. There's a little chime and it'll start to boot up here. So while it starts, I just want to point out a couple different things. First of all, this is a 22 inch HD display. And when I say HD, it's not only a 1080p screen, but there's also a 1080p camera, meaning it's true HD all the way through, resulting in a nice crystal cleared image at all times. Okay, and then let's go ahead and go over this tray real fast. So there's a purple locking lever in the front, and it has four different positions. So first of all, the right hand position is fully locked. I can't move my tray up or down, left or right. And then if I move it over to the left, one click here, there we go, and it unlocked just our horizontal axis, so I can move it right and left and my up and down is still locked. If I move it one more click, it unlocks my vertical axis as well, but there's a magnetic reading line in there that'll help you bump down small steps at a time rather than just completely freehanding it. And so if I just bump it down, little steps like that, and that helps step down in between different sentences on something you're reading uh, at high zoom. And then if I move it all the way to the left to our fourth position, then it's completely free and I can move both horizontally and vertically freely just like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and stick something underneath here to read. I got just the manual with me this time. All right, there we go. And then let's go ahead and take a quick swing through the control set here. So first of all, our first button on the left is our high contrast mode button. So if I press this, I can cycle through my different high contrast modes. Right now it's on full color. Press it again, here's black and white. Again, and here's white on black. And you'll notice it zoomed out when I did that. And the reason for that is because you can set your high contrast uh, level, level zoom and your full color mode level zoom differently. So the reason for that is um, your full color mode is most often used for like things like picture viewing as where your high contrast modes are used for reading. And so you can set independent zoom levels for each one of those. So you'll notice when I switch from high contrast mode to full color mode, it will probably adjust the zoom level for me. So continuing on here, here's our white on black. Here's our black on white, yellow on black, black on yellow, blue on yellow on blue, blue on yellow, green on black, black on green, red on black, black on red, and now back to full color. And you notice it zoomed in because I have a different zoom level for my full color mode here. Continuing on, we have plus and minus buttons here for zooming in and zooming out. So we can just press and hold on those and it will zoom in, zoom out. And this will zoom all the way up to 65 times magnification. So it will zoom way in there for you if you want to. In the middle here, we have a focus lock, and this is for writing underneath there. Um, so you don't want the camera to refocus on your hand if you're under here, you know, doing a crossword, Sudoku, or working on some sort of project underneath the camera. So you can press this, and it'll actually lock your focus for you. So that way, it will fo stay focused on whatever material you're reading or writing on, rather than refocusing on your hand when it's underneath there. Moving on, we have our brightness button, and we can just press this to cycle through our different available brightness settings, especially helpful if you have any sort of light sensitivity, or even if you're just reading or working in a dark room, you might want to turn that display down to be a little easier on your eyes. Okay, and then here we have a remote control, and this is an optional accessory you can purchase, but I'm going to go ahead and show it um, just so you get an idea how it works as well. So you have a zoom knob right here for zooming in and out. You have your high contrast mode, and this does support computer switching, so you can plug in your computer as well and switch back and forth between your magnifier and a computer uh, working as well. So that's kind of an extra cool feature in here. And then if we turn the remote over, it will switch in OS over into, um, into OCR mode. And right now the, re the remote's asleep, but if I press a button, it'll wake this guy up. And I'll say that. There we go, now the remote woke up. So the remote will go to sleep to save battery. Um, and all you have to do is press one of the buttons so the remote will wake back up. But anyway, when I flip this remote over, it actually switched me into OCR mode, and this is where it's going to take a picture and can actually read to you. So you can be in the magnification only mode, which is what I was just in and showed you, or you can flip the remote over to this side, and here you have your OCR controls. So these OCR controls right here are just a duplicate of what you have on screen, but I just wanted to show you that real quick. Zoom in, zoom out, movement forward and backwards, up and down, uh, play and pause, and take a snap in OCR right there. So I'll just put that remote back in. Let's center this up so we can OCR it and read it. So there's a camera icon over here on the right. We're just going to press that. It's going to snap a picture, begin the OCR process. So in just a few moments, we'll be presented with the OCR document. So there's the OCR document. It automatically started reading for us. We can also have it, if we want, um, do paragraph selections. And we'll show you how to do that. I'm just going to go back for a moment. 
turn this off and I'm gonna re-OCR it. And when I do this time, rather than automatically starting to read, it's gonna show me paragraphs and I can select the paragraph I wanna start on. So let's say I wanna start on this contrast paragraph. There you go, you'll see it's zooming and highlighting there. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Let's turn that volume up a little bit. Volume 75, volume 85, volume 90 percent, volume 95 percent, volume 100 percent. Okay, so just going across the these. Contrast. I'm going to go ahead and pause that for just a moment while I talk about the controls. So going through these on-screen controls real quick, we have our menu over here, which we'll go into in a little more detail in a moment. We can uh, turn up and down the rate of our speech here, turn up and down the volume, play and pause Sweet, reading, uh, navigate by letter here, this icon, forward icon. and backwards through our letters, or up and down through paragraphs, or there's a back button to get us back to our OCR screen. So let's go ahead and go into the menu real quick. So our first option here is we can choose between a male or female uh, reading voice, and we can also, uh, there's a few different equalizer presets to maybe make fine tune the sound for you. Moving on here, we have our display mode or our document menu, and we can choose a few different display modes. For example, this is the original document. This would overlay digital text. This is purely digital text, one line of digital text, or one word of digital text at a time. So just to give you an idea of what the difference is, here I'll switch to completely digital text. I can also switch to different highlighting modes. So right now it's a square box around, but I could do an underline. I could do highlighting the, the letter itself or the word itself, or I could do like a full highlight if I want to too. So let's go ahead and we'll do just highlighting the words and I'm gonna change the color of the highlighting to let's say blue, and then I'm gonna go back. And there you go. You'll see all the text is now digitized rather than seeing the original image. And I can play and pause and it's all highlighted blue. Icon from right to left and hold your finger on the left side of the rounded rectangle to gradually de All right, so let's go back in the menu and check out a few more options. So again, these are all your different display or reading mode options. Then we can save a document if I want to. So if I just press the save button, it's actually going to take a picture that I did and just save it into my photo library. I can go in my photo library here. And if I have multiple saved documents, I can use these right and left arrows to navigate through those and pull one of those back up at any time so and start reading a different part. Side. Okay, let's back up again. Back up again. And let's go into our settings. Here you can choose your system language. So if you prefer something like Spanish, or um, French or Portuguese or something like that. You can switch your language here. You can change your system voice as well, system volume, and do a factory reset right there. And that's really all there is to it. It's pretty simple. So I'm gonna go back here to my document menu just to give you an idea of the remote working. I'm gonna go ahead and press the play button. Decrease the contrast. Contrast can only be adjust go ahead and adjusted and zoom out. In contrast modes, Most not in photo mode, modes. 4.6 white balance, swipe this icon from left, right, and hold your finger on right side of the rounded rec rect rectangle to gradually change the white. I can pause, so this will zoom in and out right there. I can do my navigation change by word gradually. or my by paragraph. And I can play and play and pause, or I can back up if I want to. And I could read OCR if I want to. And I can flip my remote back over, switch to magnifier mode, flip my remote back over again, and you'll see it left off right where I was at, and I can start reading again Four right point away. Two, zoom tab or press and hold the minus icon allows you to zoom out. All right, so that does it for the Acuity speech. Let's go back out to FaceTime. All right, everyone, that does it for the Acuity speech today. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like more information on the Acuity speech, make sure to visit us online at www.irie-at.com. Thank you.